you know, I've always had an eye and an ear for music. Mm -hmm. And I've always felt like out of everybody at that time that was really cracking, mm -hmm. I felt like you were special. And I always I felt like it was, I felt like it was your mostly your voice. I appreciate you know, that. I'm sure you've heard that, I'm sure you've heard that <laughs> before. Said it all the time. Yeah. DJ Smiles said yeah. that too. Yeah, yeah. you got a, you got a special voice. I appreciate so, that. So and I, I remember early on, you gave me a little you kind of reminded me a little bit of Pac. Oh wow. Yeah. I mean that's my that's my uh yeah. my uh look up. Yeah, and then Somebody and then you had the, the joint with, with Buck. Uh, that was that's probably my all time favorite. Which shit. one? Money, uh, money the, in the bank. Money in the bank. Yeah, yeah. 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 I wanted fifty on that so bad. Oh my man. god! I want. I was telling. So I, did I. You got to do. I said you got to do it because the down south beat with an up north dude. If you get on there, it's gonna go crazy. Why wouldn't he do it? I don't god know. Damn it! I, you know, at the time, I think fifty was still hurting from that game situation. Like he really, he really fucked with that shit. He mm. really fucking with that shit for real. I, I can tell because there's. He was fucked up about that shit. Were you around him at that time? I had just came in. With the game, just, the game yeah, shit? I had just came in. So you kind of did you get to see any like what was really happening behind the scenes firsthand? I just seen, I just heard both. It's Bryce Davis on the check in, and we got a new interview from Lil Scrappy. We're live on Lake Street where he talks about his experience with G Unit. And, you know, he speaks on his single "Money in the Bank" that came out back in 2006, which featured Young Buck. And, you know, I always wondered myself why 50 Cent wasn't featured on the record, especially with Scrappy being a new signee to G-Unit at the time. I mean, what he says does make sense. You know, 50 was probably needing some time to himself because, you know, 50 is probably confused with, you know, the whole situation with Game, how he went from helping the artist to, you know, the artist turning on him and going as hard as they did at him. So, you know, he probably needed some time to, you know, get his mind straight. Especially at the time where, you know, the G-Unit roster was huge. Everybody's favorite rapper was signed to him at some point. You know, uh, if you have time, go check out. I think they had like a double XL cover where they had all the artists from like M.O.P. to Mace to, you know, everybody you could think of at the time. But yeah, I definitely think that would have made sense. I mean, it's a down south beat, but it was slow and definitely slow enough for 50 to catch, you know, without adding a bounce flow to it, you know, so definitely would have made sense to me, but hey, to each his own, you know, I'm sure everybody's experienced situations like this in real life where they had close friends do something that had you questioning their loyalty. So, you know, that's probably all that was going on and, you know, you can't take it personal. It just is what it is at the end of the day. But let me know in the comments how you feel. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.